close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And know where you notice where you feel the breathing right now. Wherever it's clearest, focus right there. And then try to breathe in a way that makes that spot feel comfortable. You might try longer breathing, shorter, faster, slower, heavier, lighter, deeper, shallower. Try to find what kind of breathing feels best right now. This so way you develop your alertness. We go through life missing so much because our minds, our attention is someplace else. We don't see what we're doing often. We do something and someone asks you, well, why did you do that? And you have to stop and think for a minute. Well, what was your motivation? That shows that things are on automatic pilot. And it, yet it is your actions that shape your life. And as the Buddha said, when you do something even half intentionally, not fully alert to what you're doing, it still counts as karma. The, the intention is there, but the alertness is not. It's like a factory with no quality control. Just keep on turning out objects, good or bad, you don't really know. And when the people buy them, send them back and say, this is not any good, you don't have any excuse. So try to be more alert. Try to be right here in the present moment so you can see what you're doing and make sure that what you're doing is skillful. And you begin to realize that the, the really skillful things are the things you want to do, things like being generous, being virtuous, getting the mind under control. These are things you really do want to do if you sit down and think about it. So you take your mindfulness, in other words, keep that in mind, and then you're alert to what you're doing. And what you're doing is not in line with what you originally intended, well, you can change. Don't change the intention, change what you're doing. This way you're present to what's happening. You have some quality control over your actions. And the more you focus on quality control, the better it gets. So think about the quality of what you're doing. Realize that the quality of what you do is going to be the quality of what comes back at you. So we all want good things coming our way, which means we have to send good things out to begin with. You notice the Buddha's teachings, they start with generosity, they don't start with taking, they start with giving. You go out of your way first and then good things will come back your way. So always keep this principle in mind. If life is not the way you want it, well ask yourself, what are you putting into it? What are you doing? Put something better into life and then good, better things will start coming back.